Hey everyone, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club! Exclamation point. Uh, last time, me and Sayori had a really deep conversation about her depression that she's had her whole life. And, yep, this is where this game is going now. It's not a fun dating sim anymore, it's about life. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head back to my house, leaving Sayori alone, which is probably the worst thing, worst thing you can do for someone with depression. But what can you do right now? Um, so we're gonna go and um, wait for Yuri to come to our house so we can work on our project together for the festival. Anyways, let's begin. <coughs> on the way home, I find myself feeling uh, still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Siri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely gonna have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Uh, Yuri? Ah! Thank goodness. You're a little, you're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting a long time? No, I just got here. But I start to get really nervous when no one answers the doorbell. You could have always texted me. If I'd known, I would have reassured you and hurried on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And you did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure I'll be fine. I take Yuri out to my room. Oh, my room is depressing. Look at this. What is this? I got books with no labels on it and a TV. With nothing attached to it. What's a TV for? There's no consoles. Boo! Your room sucks, kid. Anyway. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> uh, I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no. It would have been really embarrassed for my room if, to be in a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. Uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched your wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both hands firmly in her lap so to make sure she keeps track of them. Ah, that's cute. So, um... Should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, like sex dolls. Mood lighting, anathomotherapy, fethyl... Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking this that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although maybe we'll just stop by out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, stop saying stupid shit like that. It hurts my feelings. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all, you silly, silly person, you. It's something I liked about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Uh, yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I bought some things for relaxation. Like this lubricant. I was going to use them during the poetry event. But I thought that was a little risque for a school club event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. You have any rhymes just through her bag? She pulls out a few cans of a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think it would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. What's that wooden thing though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Although my brother is way into that shit and it's annoying. Because it makes the house smell like peppermint all the time and pine trees. 
Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic! Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a tiny thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on top. Wow, that smells wunderbar! What kind of mood is this one for? Is this, this is jasmine essential oils. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'd be perfect for sharing our poems? It sounds suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are these for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper like I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using that paper for folding origami. What I like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will be these for for? I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of our classroom. Then we can fasten the papers onto the ribbon and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be wunderbar? It also catch the eyes of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative! I had no idea you were so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Oh my god, it's so cute! Seems to me she's more relaxed when it's just the two of us. Or maybe the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Cyclone Chan. Mark where you want to do stuff to me at. I'll take off my sweater for this. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, Alright. Stay on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to ma manage my bad handwriting. Yuri revels a long strand of red ribbon to the side to her desired length. And she reaches to her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Oh god! No! Don't rob me! Huh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver hand has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. This is no ordinary pocket knife. This is a sexy old pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well... Embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. I keep changing my voice every five minutes. To each their own, you know? You promise you won't be weirded out? Yeah, I promise. Alright. Um, you know that little bit of red at the very tip? That's my blood. Every so often, I cut myself a little bit on the wrist every day so I can feel more intense about life. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling at danger, maybe? Uh, what was I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're not weird at all. Please put those away. You're laughing at me. No, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. It's just telling you how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I kind of think it suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> well, I thought it was a really cool new looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? You relaxes your expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Here's about sharpness, I feel a point of the knife with my index finger. Ah! Cyclone Chan, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all, it hurt. It's my fault. I shouldn't have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. I see Yuri getting 
slowly excited by the blood as she slowly opens her mouth and wraps her fingers around my finger. Or, nah, I ruined it. Fuck it. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Uh, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're, if you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, without any worrying. Oh my god, I was totally wrong! <laughs> the fuck? I was kidding about that. I didn't expect that to actually happen. Shit. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Ah! Oops. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, crap. Um. How do I go back? Shit. Ah! Okay. Escape. There we go. Whew. Whew. Okay. Nothing's wrong. Um, I think that's a good place to end the episode. Oh my god, that was something there. Anyways, I'm Lord Cyclone, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on PSN Network. Follow me on Twitch, I'm on Twitch sometimes. Maybe not so much this month, but... Eh, Twitch. Twitch is kind of a bitch, because you have to, like, schedule it. And, like... Like, if you're gonna Twitch stream, you have to show yourself on camera, and I don't really feel like doing my hair half the time. Eh, too much work. Well, I'll do Twitch, fuck it. Anyways, um, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye!